Min Min Son, the South Korean king, has had a remarkable season, scoring 15 goals and 9 assists in 29 appearances for Tottenham Hotspur. But what on earth has happened to Hyun Min Son lately? And Postacoglu has decided to manoeuvre Hyun Son as a striker. To place Son as a striker in order to allow the likes of Timo Werner, Brennan Johnson and Kulisevsky to have more game time in the wing flanks. Now, the big, big problem with this is that Hyun Son is not involved in, with the game as much as he is on the left-hand side. Over the years, we've seen Sonny, you know, collaborate with the likes of Harry Kane, the likes of... Christian Eriksen, the likes of, you know, just midfielders and strikers. He's been really together with them, with a the team, scoring goals, getting assists. But just these past couple months, Hyun Min Son has not been on it. Sonny's just dropped in form. And people won't understand, and real Tottenham fans will understand that it's because he's playing as a striker. Hyun Min Son back to goal is not good enough. He can't hold up the ball. He, he's not quick enough to get the ball out of his feet to take a shot. And we need him off the left where his best attribute is his shooting. Now, many of us, including myself, will say that Son's pace has already dropped um, significantly this season due to his age and due to himself uh, getting older. And that's fair enough. But if we say that his main, his main goal is to shoot... And his main, his, his main, um, his main attribute is his shooting, and he's not being played off the left hand side where his best shooting is that finesse shot, top right corner. Why are we not playing him the left hand side? You could argue that you know Timo Werner is quite decent, and you know I would rather start him. You could argue that you'd rather start him on the left and play Sonny up front. You could argue that you know maybe we just don't have another striker. Richardson's injured right now. Brendan Johnson. Not good enough as a striker. Timo Werner not good, not good enough as a striker. Sure, I can to totally understand that. But if all players are fit, Sonny has to be played as a left winger. Timo Werner off the bench is phenomenal. Brendan Johnson off the bench is unbelievable. We've seen the impact that both of these uh, wingers have off the bench. Kulisevsky doesn't have near as that much of an impact off the bench. Our whole front line has been off for the past couple of months. Our whole midfield has been off for the past couple of months. Our defence has been solid for the past couple of months, except for the game on, on Saturday night or Saturday evening, wherever you are. We conceded four goals the other day and Sonny, one of the goals or two of the goals was because of Sonny. That's the problem. Son is not getting involved in the game as a striker. He's too much of a quality player to allow him to not be involved. Now, when Harry Kane is playing for Tottenham Hotspur, you can see he dropped back. He would come up front with the ball because he'd have Son to pass the ball to. With Son, he doesn't have that passing ability that Harry Kane's got. He doesn't have the the uh, the awareness that Harry Kane's got. Son's got phenomenal, phenomenal striking abilities, which you would say, OK, if he's got unbelievable striking abilities, why would you not play him as a striker? But that's because he's not good back to go. He doesn't know how to hold the ball. I said this multiple times. Kulisevsky is our best hold-up player with the ball at Tottenham Hotspur. Richardson doesn't do it good enough. Timo Werner surely does not do that good enough. And Brendan Johnson, let's not even talk about him. So, so Dejan Kulisevsky is, is the best player. Now, what would be your front three for the North London derby? Or, you know what? Ignore the North London derby. What would be your front three to Tottenham Hotspur fan? Because... There's multiple areas to look at this. One aspect could be, all right, I need someone to hold up the ball, but I want a clinical striker, but I don't want Sonny to be played up front. In that case, you'll have to be playing Brennan, uh, you have to play Dejan Kulisevsky on the right, you have to play Richarlison up front, and you have to play Sonny on the left. Just reminding the viewers out there, this is if hypothetical, um, the best scenario possible. That would, what, in my opinion, be the best attacking trio. But in the case that we have now with Richardson being injured, you've got to ask yourself, well, do you want Brent Johnson to be played as a striker? Do you want Timo Werner to be played as a striker? Do you want Dejan Kulisevsky to be played as a striker? Or, or would you rather play Human Son as a striker? Personally, for me, personally, I, I, I would want to see Dejan Kulisevsky play as a striker. I would want to see Kulu play as a striker. Now, it could work. It could completely be a crap idea. But, if we if we don't try these different types of scenarios out, we won't know. 
if you think about it, the only reason why I don't think Kulusevski is good enough as a striker is because he doesn't have a right foot. And for me, a striker has to be good at both feet. But if Kulusevski can hold up the play, pass the ball either to the left where Sonny would be running down the flank. I know he would be pacing, but he'd be running and he would be getting the ball, cutting in, finesse shot or, or beating his man, take a left shot. We've seen that multiple times. He's been dangerous in those areas. Then sure. But if we're saying, no, you know what? I don't want Kulisevsky up front. I want a team of Werner. Team of Werner wouldn't hold up the ball like Kulisevsky does. He might be fast enough to get to the ball, which you've seen multiple times at Chelsea, where he is able to run at the run at the defenders, but his finishing is not going to be up there. Now, big up to everyone who commented on the last video where we did discuss whether or not to keep Team Werner or not. Multiple, multiple people have commented saying, yes, we should keep Team Werner for a 17.3 for, for million price. We should buy him. And there was a couple that said, no, he's not good enough. But at Tottenham Hotspur, I feel like we've gotten to a time where we can't look at names anymore. I feel like people at Tottenham are looking at Team Werner in terms of the name and saying, I don't like it. I don't like it. Which is fair enough because he hasn't, he hasn't got the greatest record at England. But Team of Werner, for me, suits his, suits his team perfectly. Whether he's coming off the bench or whether he's starting. Now, another player you've got to remember is we still have Manuel Solomon. Unfortunately, he's injured. But he is still a player we can utilise in these types of, types of uh, scenarios. Now, I don't really know... I, I know I know, what, I, I know. Solomon's more of a dribble player. Likes to beat his man. But... We haven't seen enough of him at Tottenham Hotspur yet. Either it could be a hit or miss with him. Now, lads, make sure to smash the subscribe button. And I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Human Son, playing as a striker, playing as a left winger. And if you're very, very, um, you know, outrageous, would you play him on the right? Just putting this out there for comments for the people out there. I personally would play him on the left with... A striker up front and with Kulisevsky on the right. I think Brent Johnson's good enough to come off the bench, but he's not the final product yet. So therefore, my front three would be having Son on the left. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Drop a like on this video. And if you're really, really a Tottenham Hotspur fan, let me know down below what your favourite moment of Kim Son is from this season. Or from all, all of his time at playing at Tottenham Hotspur. I mean, mine's definitely the, the Champions League. Uh, Man City, oh that was amazing or it could be the Arsenal, the Arsenal against uh, Leno, the finesse Woo! or it could be against uh, Burnley I think it was, the uh, the Puskas sonny has been outrageous for us lads, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below I will be with you for the match uh, preview versus Arsenal in a couple of weeks, we do have a break coming up um, which is always a bit annoying, you know uh, it's FA Cup obviously, so Tottenham Hotspur are not playing, because we got knocked out of it, but lads let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, come on you Spurs and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye